Hey everyone, Ryan here with uh, definitely a different type of video. So usually we're opening newer product, but I'm also a big, go to a lot of yard sales. So I'm always looking for collectibles, sports cards, those kinds of things. And I've been looking all summer to find like a big haul that I could go through. And I found that uh, this weekend. So excited to show you guys what we picked up. Um, obviously you can see by some of the product that you see on the screen right now, a lot of a lot of like junk wax hair stuff. So we're, we're not looking at a ton of value here, but... It's going to be fun to go through. I'm excited to go through it. Um, did see some things that kind of piqued my interest. Uh, we'll go through a little bit here, and then I'm going to off-camera kind of go through everything and then recap what I think are the, the better hauls out of here. So just some of the stuff. We have like 30 of these 1988 tops. Um, what that what are they called? Rack packs. So a bunch of those. We got like... A hundred sheets of cards here. There's a whole sheet of Robin Ventura rookie cards there. Saw a whole sheet of Randy Johnson rookie cards. A bunch of 89 Bowman. A bunch of older reprint cards of like Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford. Things that I'll just enjoy to have in my PC as well. Uh, little things like this. You know, Michael Jordan. You know, Upper Deck Collector's Choice rookie. Not a huge value card, but pretty cool to add to a collection. Some of these uh, 1983 Drake's Big Hitter box sets. There's like 15 of those. This was kind of neat, this uh, board game in the background with Nolan Ryan on the front there. Bunch of cool stuff, but the, the biggest thing to go through is going to be these boxes. So there's 33 of these boxes. I don't know how many counts are in them, but they're all filled with cards. And when I was peeking through them, there's... I saw like 74 tops, 72 tops, some 60s cards... I'm sure they've been gone through, but it's going to be fun to go through. This wasn't a huge investment or anything. I'm not looking to strike it rich by any means with these, but it'd be cool to add some stuff to my collection and share it with you guys. So so if you're coming back to the channel, I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoy what we're going to do today. And if it's your first time here, we usually rip a lot of new product, but I, I couldn't pass this opportunity up to kind of go through some cards from yesteryear. Um, so let's see what we get. with a recap of what we found in the collection. So this took a very long time to go through. It was a lot of fun though. A lot of memories came up as I was going through it. You know, seeing cards I had when I was a kid, seeing much older cards than I've ever seen before, really out in the wild that is. Um, so this is a super fun collection to go through. We're gonna go through some of the better cards I found. We had some really good cards, but overall like tons of Hall of Famers, tons of uh, vintage cards older than I thought we'd find. Uh, obviously a lot of junk wax stuff, a lot of like 86 to 92, you know, Donruss tops, Fleer, a lot of those kinds of cards, but really cool to see them. These are cards I probably have in my collection somewhere, but haven't looked at in probably years. So it was cool to see them in a different collection and, and go through them and have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, before we get into some of the cards we found though, I thought it'd be cool to open up a couple of these packs that we picked up. So we have two of these 
I think this is 89. Yeah, 89 tops pack. So that'll be fun to kind of rip into these and see who else we can maybe pull. Obviously, I've never opened packs like this. I've had cards like this, but Tom Brookins. Let's see if we find any Hall of Famers or notable players in here. Eddie Murray. There we go. Hall of Famer. See if there's anybody else. There's our stick of gum. The top stick of gum broken in half. Got a Topps Company store card. Hey, Barry Bonds. There we go. Is that third year? Yeah, third year Barry Bonds. Don Slot for the Yankees. A oh, couple, couple good names in here. Anybody else at the end? Nope. Oh, we got one more of those. We got this Drake's Big Hitters. I thought it would be fun to go through there, see who was on that set. Fernando Mania on the front there. Whitey Herzog. That that card swish when you're going through old cards like this. It was super fun. Going through this collection, it took me, like, I was working on it kind of like an hour or two a night. It took me like five or six days to get through everything. So, definitely fun to go through. Obviously, I couldn't. I had Goose Gossage on the Cubs. It's a nice card. Roger Clemens. Lee Mazzilli, former Yankee coach. Uh, manager for the Orioles. So that was fun. But yeah, going through these cards took a while. Obviously, you saw some of it that I filmed. Couldn't film all of it. Grand total probably took me, I want to say like eight, nine hours to go through everything. So, obviously, couldn't film all of it. Had some sick pulls off camera. Some of those cards I'll go through that we saw kind of in that speed motion there. But here's the Drake's big hitters. So, George Hendrick, Gary Matthews, Mike Schmidt, Cal Ripken. Should be a lot of all-stars. Hall of Famers in here. Jim Rice, Pete Rose. These are pretty cool looking cards too. Rod Carew. Bill Buckner on the Cubs. Gorman Thomas, Robin Yount. Another Hall of Famer. Mookie, Yaz, Dave Winfield, Dwight Evans, Reggie. Might be the year he left the Yankees. Year after he left the Yankees. Don Baylor. Another Eddie Murray. Gary Carter. Ken Singleton. And Dave Kingman. Alright, now we have a 88 Tops Rack Pack. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's like 30 of these in here. Obviously, there's really no value, but cool to go through. Try and see if we can find any Yankees. You know, Don Mattingly, obviously the star of the Yankees in the 80s. Got Jack Clark. Pretty good career. Will Clark. Fernando. Jimmy Key. A couple good years for the Yankees back in the 90s. Nice little set here. Fun to go through junk wax. I know there's no value, but seeing these cards, Kunseko, third year Kunseko, Mark Langston, know him from the Padres. There's a rookie card. So, be fun to show you some of these things that we picked up in a second. Checklist card. Love the checklist cards. All right, Nolan Ryan. There we go. That was a very old-looking Dave Dravecki card. All right. That was fun to open a couple things like that. Got a bunch of those, so maybe I'll open a few more. See what we find, but let's get into some of the cards we found. So all of this in the back is just like stacks and stacks of Hall of Famers, All-Stars, rookie cards... Uh, just all cards I thought were notable that maybe we're just not going to go through. I might flip through some cards real quick on here, but we're going to start with this stack here. And I'm not going to go through every name, but the only, and there's really no big names to even, you know, worth stopping on. But we had a ton of these 1959 Tops cards. So I thought it was just awesome to see cards from the 50s. You know, again, nothing, nobody notable in here obviously was picked through, but cool to see. 
you know, very old cards. They're still in pretty good shape, too. Um, some names I've recognized, but, you know, no one had no All-Stars or Hall of Famers in here. But just a ton of cards. You know, they were pretty well organized, too. You had, like, doubles, triples. Um, I don't know, it was probably 100 of these, maybe, from 59. A couple older ones. I think this was... Oh, this is 66. Got mixed in there. I like that card. Buck Hill Aces for Pittsburgh. Just a bunch of vintage cards. was not expecting to see these kind of old cards. Willie Horton there. 1972. Like the oldest cards I had seen when I was flipping through them at the guy's house was like 72, 74. So to see some cards from the 50s, 60s, that was pretty neat. But... I like this design. Just some, some cool stuff. Thought you guys get kick out of seeing some old, old cards. We have some uh, Sporting News rookie stars. Bob Lillis, I recognize that name. Gene Oliver. But again, nobody big in here, but just cool to see some older cards. And back to some base cards. So that was that. His next little stack I thought was pretty sweet because this is the design for this year's Topps Heritage. So we had the 70, 73, yes, 73 Topps. So picked up some, picked out some of like the Hall of Famers, All-Stars that I found. There was a ton of these, probably two or 300 of the set were in there. So we had the Boyhood Photos cards. You know, we've seen those with Mike Trout. Oh, Raleigh Fingers, very off center, but. <laughs> so Ken Singleton picked him out because I'm a Yankee fan. So grew up with Ken Singleton broadcasting the games. You know, Ted Simmons just made the Hall of Fame not too long ago. There's a better cut Raleigh Fingers card. Gaylord Perry, ton of Gaylord Perry cards. Tony Perez, and these are probably the best ones from the set. So four second-year Carlton Fisk cards with the Gold Cup. Just cool cards to pick up. You know, definitely the, the best of that set that we picked up. Not a rookie card, but cool to see it with the Gold Cup. So the next little grouping of cards is more... For my Yankee fans out there, but so I've never even seen this this version of scorecards before, which I was kind of shocked by because I thought I had a lot of the Yankee stuff from the 90s. But we have a couple of them I picked out: Dave Rigetti, Dave Winfield, Dion, Ron Guidry, and a tribute to Thurman Munson. I think these are awesome looking cards with the Yankee Stadium facade at the top there. Then a few uh, Mike Mussina like minor league cards. Cool to see those. You know, I, I've never seen those cards before, so... Jim Abbott, this is in, on the Angels rookie card. Uh, obviously not a very valuable one from Classic, but... Jim Abbott's got a place in my heart. One of the first Yankee Classics I remember watching was his no-hitter back in 94, I believe, or 93. And obviously, you know, being born with only one hand, you know, real inspiring story for Jim Abbott. We have a Tony Lazeri card, obviously a Hall of Famer, part of Murderer's Row. Um, this is when he was a coach, I believe, on Cleveland. So, baseball greats, Tony Lazeri. And there's a few of these in there. Gene Michael, Gene Stick Michael for you Yankee fans, helped build that 90s team. Like this Mickey Mantle card. A couple nice Derek Jeter cards in there. Derek Jeter Deja Vu with Cal Ripken. Uh, Mel Stoudemire, Ron Bloomberg rookie card. Some Joe Torre Mets cards when he was a player still. Older Lou Pinella card before he came to the Yankees. A couple more Jeters. Bunch of Bernie Williams rookie cards. Elston Howard. This was a good one. So Elston Howard from 65 tops. So easily now probably my oldest. Oh, nope. I do have a 61 Mantle and 61 Maris. So this would be my like second oldest card that I have in my collection for the Yankees. Elston Howard, great career for the Yankees. And obviously, 90s Yankees, my big thing. So, seeing a Scott Brosh's rookie card was pretty cool. And uh, there's another Gene Michael on the back. And Bobby Mercer again in the vein of Ken Singleton. Bobby Mercer was a great Yankee, and I grew up listening to him broadcast. So, super cool to see those. And just some other cards to go through. So, Kirby Puckett rookie cards, some Smoltz rookie cards, Randy Johnson rookie cards, just. Tons of this kind of stuff throughout there. Delgado. I think he'll make the Hall of Fame eventually, so cool to see those. Billy Wagner. 
Uh, Chipper Jones, quite a few of those rookie cards. Another Chipper, Jim Edmonds. Thought that was a great rookie card because of, you know, obviously known for his defense throughout his career. So, bunch of A-Rod, Manny Ramirez, some more Manny, Frank Thomas. So, again, not crazy valuable cards, but it's cool to see those, those players' rookie cards. Especially because I was very young when a lot of those cards were coming out, so didn't really have them. Thought these were pretty cool looking cards too. Future is now. There's a bunch of those. Ken Griffey, Mike Piazza. I think that was Piazza, right? Yep. Uh, Moose. Just a ton of cool cards. Ken Griffey Jr. We do have a big card at the end I want to show you guys that we picked up. Probably the best card easily of the of the box. Bunch of older Gary Carter, some Dennis Eckersley older cards. You know, a lot of Hall of Famers in here. Andre Dawson, second year Gold Cup. Some more Andre Dawson, some early Ryan Sandberg, Phil Necro. Older Billy Williams card. Just tons of, I think this was 1969. Yep, 69. Louis Aparicio, Don Zimmer, manager card. Obviously, I know Zim from the 90s Yankees days, but Earl Weaver. Got a uh, Steve Carlton, Louis Tiant, older Ricky, Tony Gwynn, Jack Morris cards, just tons of tons of cards like this. Robin Roberts, Hall of Famer. Just all these stacks, lots of cards like that. Lots of early like Donruss cards too, though. Uh, these are the kind of I found interesting pile. So you've seen the Sweet Shades cards and tops this year, so this kind of made me laugh when we saw a bunch of these Pinnacle Shades cards. I think you see these on video. A bunch of those. Then a home field advantage, obviously, is a chase insert in the top sets now. So to see this, there's a bunch of these. There's a Jeff Bagwell one. Uh, Terry Francona rookie card. Pretty sick, obviously. One of the better managers of the last 20 years. Terry Francona helped the Red Sox break the curse. Then Doyle Alexander. I just thought this was cool. I believe this is his rookie card. I guess it would maybe qualify as his rookie card, but... Him being traded for John Smoltz is probably one of the weirder trades in MLB history where it kind of worked out. But, you know, obviously, John Smoltz, Hall of Fame pitcher. Doyle Alexander did not make the Hall of Fame. Big Moneyball fan, so seeing Scott Hatterberg rookie card was cool. And this is, uh, I think this is the My Son's Playing Somewhere pile. So we got Patrick Mahomes' dad there, Pat Mahomes. For you football fans out, fans out there, Pat Mahomes rookie card. And obviously Bobby Witt Jr. taking Kansas City by storm this year. We got Bobby Witt Sr. there for the Rangers. Dante Bichette, whose son Bo Bichette is tearing it up in Toronto. And then this one's a fun one for uh, any football fans out there. We open a lot of prism football. So that uh, quarterback on the Chiefs, Shane Bouchelle. Thank you to SRJ Wildcat for telling me how to pronounce that. I don't think he's going to be watching, but this is his dad, Steve Bouchelle, on the Cubs. So he's backup quarterback for Mahomes. Then we had a uh, Drew Bledsoe in there, really one of the only football cards we found. Drew Bledsoe, wild card rookies, Super Chrome for the Patriots. This is back 93, yeah. So one of only like three football cards in the whole grouping, but cool to see that. We uh, saw this MJ card, so that was pretty sick. And the big find is a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card out of 82 Donruss. So definitely the biggest hit of the, the find. But, this, I mean, this alone paid for everything that I got into it. So it was a lot of fun to go through this. I'm, I'm hoping I can find more things like this out when I go to the yard sales and flea markets and those kinds of things. I would love to find an old football a lot of cards, but you, you almost never see football cards anywhere. So I think that's going to be hard to find. But it'd be fun to go through football cards from that era, the 80s, 90s kind of thing. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, but drop some comments. I'd love to hear what you thought of what we found. Um, and I'd also like to hear like what's one of the older cards you remember collecting. For me, my first card I remember really having was a 98 Don Russ Brady Anderson card. So I know that's very obscure, but I think I was on the Orioles in Little League at the times, and Brady Anderson had just hit the 50 home runs. So that's one of those cards that stick with me. I'll put a picture up real quick if I can find one. But uh, drop a comment. Let me know what your one of your oldest memories of card collecting is. What what card got you into it? Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys about that. 
But thank you so much for watching. If you're a fan of stuff like this and opening a new product, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye.